Wildlife authorities warn tourists feeding native animals at one of Western Australia's most famous beaches are killing them with kindness in search of the perfect selfie. The pristine white sand of Lucky Bay at Cape Le Grand National Park, 770 km southeast of Perth, is known internationally for its kangaroos which enjoy lazing on the beach. External link, Roger Federer Quokka Selfie The National Park attracted 180,000 visitors last financial year and it is on track to surpass 200,000 this year. Despite growing numbers of tourists, kangaroos are seemingly unafraid of humans and taking a photograph with the Australian coat of arms at Lucky Bay has become the region's equivalent to a quokka selfie on Rottnest Island. But many tourists are using food as a lure to capture the western greys for the perfect holiday snap. The ABC has witnessed several overseas tourists feeding kangaroos bananas, nuts, carrots and even chocolate. Ian Hughes, from the Department of Biodiversity, Conservation, and Attractions, said the practice is concerning. They've, kangaroos certainly taken up occupation on that beach and if it's not the major tourism attraction for this part of the world, it's right up there, Mr. Hughes said. The kangaroos down there have become remarkably used to people, so you can get quite close to them for selfies without feeding them. There's no need to feed them. The kangaroos are up close and personal without that inducement. Fines rarely issued for feeding wildlife The department has signs posted throughout the park advising visitors not to feed kangaroos. Photo, visitors to Cape Le Grand National Park seem to ignore signs like these asking them not to feed kangaroos. ABC Goldfields as parents, Jared Lucas, they warn kangaroos can become very ill from eating human food and rangers can impose fines of up to $1,000. But Mr. Hughes said typically prosecutions are only pursued against serial offenders and the department prefers to educate the public. The kangaroos will eat whatever you give them, but they have a lot of trouble digesting it, particularly stuff that's not native, Mr. Hughes said. Chocolate bread and any processed foods, the kangaroos love to eat it, but they are very bad for their health. The other problem is kangaroos do get quite used to people feeding them, and they can potentially become quite aggressive if they're not fed. Feeding roos is killing them with kindness photo, wildlife Carolyn Kidd at her parents' home where she cares for dozens of kangaroos. Supplied, Lynn Kidd, Lynn Kidd is a state-registered wildlife rehabilitation carer who has turned her home into a kangaroo sanctuary. At Esperance Rue Haven this week, she was caring for 25 adult kangaroos and bottle feeding 11 joeys on her 13 hectare property.
Mrs. Kidd, who previously cared for zebras and antelope in South Africa, said tourists do not know the damage they are causing by feeding kangaroos the wrong food. They are killing them with kindness, Mrs. Kidd said. It's a really big problem. They shouldn't be doing it. Mrs. Kidd said kangaroos chew food very finely as they eat and will regurgitate and chew their food again to help with digestion. External link, Lucky Bait Tourism tweet She said the process, known as mericism, can be thrown out of whack by introducing the wrong food groups into a kangaroo's diet. We try and stay as natural as possible with what we feed them and we go out into the bush every day to collect supplies, she said. People do give Joey's fate Bix and oats without milk and they do seem to cope with that okay, but they'll eat anything on offer, spider webs, even bugs. It will definitely make them ill, of course it will. Kangaroos, believe it or not, they get colic and they suffer the gates of hell when they get colic. If they get a twisted bowel or twisted gut they die. She also warned male kangaroos can be extremely aggressive and territorial and she said they could seriously injure young children if they feel threatened. Popular beach booked out for most of the year Lucky Bay can have up to 300 cars on the beach at one time and its 56 camping sites have been booked out since the start of the year. Photo, the kangaroos at Lucky Bay are used to interacting with humans. ABC Goldfield's Asperance, Jared Lucas, campers often have to book sites months in advance. Mr. Hughes said the rise in visitor numbers meant there needs to be a renewed focus on the welfare of native animals. The last thing we want to see happen at Lucky Bay is some sort of fencing to fence the kangaroos in and away from the public, he said. That's not what we want to do at all, not even close. Obviously people being able to come down to the beach, enjoy that beautiful area and then see the kangaroos up close, that's all part of that tourism and enjoyment of that area. More stories from Western Australia.